Well, this is the uh, obstetric ultrasound, third, third trimester, in which uh, we first let us study the still image. In this still image, this is the cranium, and you can see that the bones and the cranium, these are the skull bones, the arrow indi is indicative of skull bones, and the bones are overlapping and the curve and they are not complete. Secondly, you see there is an approximately measuring 32 millimeters or 3.2 centimeter gap from where the brain tissue is protruding outwards with the membrane around it. This is the membrane, the meninges around it. Now, in this segment, which is being output from this, uh, uh, from the head of the fetus, hind brain rather, you can see that uh, these, uh, this is the fox cerebri, the central area, and this is the uh, cavum septum pellucidum, this is cavum septum pellucidum, this is the cell, these are the thalami, and this is the brain tissue, this, this white area, so it is uh, also not normal, it is uh, gathered together, so meninges, small amount of fluid behind the meninges, below the meninges, this black area, the, C the box cerebri, the CSPs, these two linear structures, the thalami, the gap from where the brain tissue is being protruded uh, uh, and uh, is being surrounded by the meninges is about approximately 3.2. Uh, now in this condition in which the cranium is uh, overlapping, the cranial bones are overlapping, we cannot measure the uh, typewriter diameter. So. In this case, this is a 35 weeks pregnancy because its abdominal circumference is uh, 308 millimeter, which corresponds to the gestational age of 34 weeks. Femur length is 3. Point, uh, uh, sorry, 6.8 centimeter, which corresponds to the gestational age of 35 weeks. Estimated fetal weight is 2.574 kilogram kg. Uh, and the gestational age is 35 weeks. Expected date of delivery is 19th of November 2012. Now this is by these parameters because we cannot use any parameter relating to the brain of the uh, or head of the fetus. So this out coaching this is the deformed head of the fetus and this is the area from where the brain tissue is being pushed upwards and the areas being pushed outwards have been shown to you. Very unusual finding, and uh, now this was a little bit of a story for you on a still image. Let us see it on real time. This is a 35 weeks pregnancy. This is the head portion. This is the head of, of the fetus. The brain mental is thinned out. We don't see any. Uh, there is brain mental present, which measures only 8.2 millimeters. Rest. These are the. This is the cranium, the skull bone. These are the facial structures.
this is the eye. This is the eye of the fetus, the mouth, the eye, and this is the mouth, the mandibular. And the brain is smaller in size, micropapillary is evident. In this section now, you can see the eye, the brain, the cranium. So this is the head of the fetus, the fox. This is the nose, the mandible, the eye. This is the face of the fetus. area is the amniotic fluid. I want to secure this image. This is the neck region. Now this is the brain tissue that is being protruded outward that I was showing you initially with uh, This is the outputting of the brain tissue outside the brain. Now this is the cranium. This, this is the cranium, skull bones, the brain, and this is the these are the meninges, fluid, small amount, the this line and this line. These are cavum septum pellucidum. This is the fox cerebri, these are the two thalamus. All are being pushed outwards to a gap of 3.6 uh, or 3.8 centimeters from the uh, posterior hindbrain. I've shown you the picture features. Again, I am showing you the face, face. So this is from the hind brain. This is uh, almost consistent with meningeal seal. Rest of the findings in this patient show polyhydramnios as the largest fluid pocket that can be seen in this patient is measures approximately uh, if I take this one 10.3 centimeters this pocket measures 10.3 centimeters These are the limbs. This is the these are this is the black report. And it does show two artery, one big one. This is an artery, this is an artery, this is the vein. So the black report is normal. The placenta is anterior wall here you see and is grade 3 you can see the ecogenicities now these are comma shaped structures 
the Ukraine end of the press center. Now these densities when seen along with press center lakes is suggestive of a third stage, third, uh, grade 3 press center. So here we are seeing a grade 3 press center. These are the press center lakes or condylons and these are the comma shaped basal densities. A lot of densities can be seen. You see there is a strong trial of calcification, comma shaped structures with no shadowing, ecogenic area. And uh, this is the uh, shiny plate that you will be seeing will be the chorionic plate. Uh, this, this is the chorionic plate. This is a great tree placenta. Anterior wall. Now what is the size of the cervix is also important. At this stage it's really difficult to get like the length of the urinary bladder is empty. However, I can give you an idea. It's about 3.4 centimeters there, and you should know. <coughs> this is the body of the fetus. This is the urinary bladder. This is the urinary bladder. And uh, this is the heart, thorax. beats per minute with regular waveform. Okay. Now this is the, these are the hepatic veins, this is the liver. This is the kidney in transfer section. One kidney. So kidney is normal, however. If it is normal in tra transfer section, it is, it is it's supposed to be normal in longitudinal section. Now this is the longitudinal section of the kidney. The kidney is normal. This area is the kidney. And uh, we do see the stomach bubble as well. So no anomaly is seen relating to the abdominal region. This is the transverse of the abdomen showing normal anterior abdominal wall, no outputting from this area. And uh, now this is the femur. The femur is properly calcified. There is uh, no curving of the fetus. Calcification is normal. And uh, it 
Maya is approximately 6.8 millimeters, uh, 6.8 centimeters, which corresponds to the gestational age of 35 weeks. This is the and the fetus is a female. I can see the two labia. This is a female fetus. So this is a case of uh, height and yards width. When you see, there we are. This is the main pathology, outputting of the brain tissue from and behind, behind, from the hind brain, this is our case of the day. Now, having uh, studied the patient on real time, let's study the image that was frozen for uh, the study because patient could not uh, wait for a longer period of time few images were saved <coughs> for uh, further study. Now as you can see that uh, there, this is the head, cranium, deformed bones and uh, the portion of the brain, herniating brain is uh, approximately varying, you know. Now this was the area from where the uh, brain was herniating uh, <coughs> along with the meninges. Now this is uh, it has a covering around it so it's not simple first thing to remember is that this is not simple meninges seal in only meninges seal you will see fluid uh, pouch. Now this out pouching will be filled with fluid only. There you will not see the brain tissue protruding outwards into the sac. It will be all fluid. And uh, secondly, in this case we are seeing the CSF, this black line, this area. This is the cerebrospinal fluid. These are the meninges and this is the brain tissue which is uh, herniating from this uh, 3.2, approximately measuring 3.2 uh, centimeter gap at the occipital region. Now the most common uh, uh, meningeal and capsule, this is, this is in fact a case of uh, not meningeal seal rather uh, meningeal and capsule seal because it's not fluid filled and we can see that the brain is herniating uh, from the occipital region. Occipital region um, herniation is most is the most common one and the amount of brain that is uh, seen uh, protruding outwards is measures approximately six into four centimeters. If you see these readings that were taken along with the uh, herniated portion uh, of the brain along with the meninges. Now what will what can be the differentials? This can be uh, the in differentials this can be a cystic hygroma but in that case there will be only fluid. It can be teratoma it, but the teratoma will be solid and it has a specific look if one is well acquainted has ever seen a teratoma it will be a solid sort of uh, mass that will be protruding outwards now this is a 
um, meningeal encaphocele of um, the protruding from the occipital region of the fetal brain, of the, of the fetal head, and uh, the amount of uh, herniated uh, brain is significant. And here we did saw the eye of the fetus, the face, the umbilical fluid, and the facial features were normal. There was uh, no dilation of the ventricles. Now this is the portion without measurements. And you can see that uh, I have labeled them. The arrows uh, on this side indicate the skull and this is the brain tissue which is on which showing distorted anatomy and now from this region this is the brain protruding uh, from the occipit occipital region outwards this is the this is the this is the mandela the meninges this is the brain tissue we can say that the cerebellum possibly cerebellum and now this is the fox cerebri, these are the thalami, and uh, so significant portion of the brain is being protruded outwards. So this is a case of uh, meningoencephalocele of the fetal brain, uh, fetal head at 35 weeks gestational age. Now we did saw the kidney while we were scanning and why, what uh, I had to see to rule out the Meckel Graber syndrome. Now in this patient, the uh, alpha fetoprotein is was normal. So uh, uh, if you see uh, uh, that the alpha fetoprotein is normal, so it is most commonly seen in uh, uh, cranial pathologies that uh, the alpha fetoprotein will be normal. We did saw the spine and had ruled out uh, the spina bifida. There is no dilation of the ventricles, cerebral ventricles in this case. So the survival or prognosis in this case of uh, neural tube defect is uh, very grim because uh, of the fact that uh, the amount of uh, brain tissue that is uh, being protruded from the occipital region into the uh, outside the outside the head is uh, significant as you can see that thalami are outside fox is outside and cerebellum is outside these are most probably uh, these two areas are suggestive of cerebellum so this is the case of of, of the day of a 35 years old uh, female with uh, 35 weeks gestational age having a defect that is pertaining only to the fetal skull and that is a gap of approximately 3.2 to 3.6 centimeters at the occipital region from which the brain tissue is protruding outwards, including the thalami and uh, the meninges are protruding outwards, and the cerebrospinal fluid is also seen in this case. And the uh, spinal cord was normal, and the uh, kidneys were normal, that uh, ruled out Michael Graber syndrome. Digits we did saw during the exam. And the digits were normal because polydactyl is seen. Polydactyl is seen in uh, Mikagrel syndrome. So this is a sort of a little, a little uh, theoretical for uh, uh, theoretical study for information for further study.